Hey friends, what's up? How's it going? I'm the Zim. This is the Zim video. Um, looks like nobody's with us live right now, but we do a live stream every Monday, Friday, and Saturday on my YouTube here and Twitch channel. We're streaming live. And what we do is we have a show called Portraits by Zim, which is evolving into portraits about human rights. People involved with the conversation around human rights. And right now, a lot of our attention has been focused on the people of Iran to kind of to try to support what they're going through. Um, yes, that's true. I forgot to do something. But since nobody's here, nobody's here. We are about to draw Armida Abisa B Asi Aba uh, Basi Armida Abasi. Um, she, what I know, she's an uh, activist in Ar Iran that's been detained, arrested, missing. At this point, I don't know. We don't know where she is. As far as I know, if you know any news about where she is and what's ha happening, please let us know in the comments or in the chat. But right now, um, she's been, you know, she was uh, abdu abducted, detained, arrested from protesting the for human rights in Iran. And what happens to these young women after they're arrested is like the most disgusting stuff that you can think of. They're usually beaten, tortured, raped, um, and then sometimes killed by authorities, by people that are supposed to essentially protect them, by their government, and it's and it's um, really frustrating. Anyways, that's why we're doing this. That's why just they they say that it's helpful to keep saying their names and keep this idea going on and sharing this. Um, these faces and names with the internet and it, and it helps. So hopefully it helps, especially if, yeah, hopefully it helps. I don't feel that great today. I got up early to um, play another game, play a game. I have I did a live stream this morning with the one of the games I play. There's an event that happens every weekend, almost every weekend that you can be involved with and so that partly that and partly I went to bed pretty late. I didn't fall asleep till pretty late. So if I don't sleep adequate amount, my body feels weird. And my body has been feeling weird the last couple months almost now. Anyway, so I'm just hanging in there in a lot of ways. But I'm well enough to draw, feeling okay to draw, and I'll just keep drawing. I'm hoping that one day these drawings, this idea that I'm doing is uh, will manifest into something greater hasn't quite yet but you know patience is key so i've learned i've discovered in this process of drawing these portraits especially but i'm realizing my art when I, i'm gonna need to update my artist statement to say something to the effect of my art happens in real time i i make art at the speed of life i guess you could say because i don't dwell I don't like spend a lot of time on one port. Like I'm not going to spend a month drawing one portrait, at least not yet. At least not the situation I have. Maybe if I ever get a studio space where I could have multiple projects going on at the same time, um, I might do one project that is a long-term project and then like do like these live stream projects at the same time. But since I have limited space and, and time even, these live stream drawings are really working well for me just to be able to like, make one thing and then move on and not have to like, not feel like it's taking a long time. Um, but it's also a reminder that it's not just the drawing that's important, it's the conversation. So please come back and jump in the chat and talk to me about what you're thinking about. It could be anything. It could be about the topic that we're drawing about or it could be about drawing itself. It could be about art, it could be about life, it could be about video games, it could be about movies. It doesn't really matter. We could talk about whatever we want. It's all part of the artwork. It's all part of the conversation. Nothing lives in a vacuum. Nothing lives isolated from everything else. So everything informs everything. 
And so even if we're talking about something that doesn't seem to connect directly, it connects indirectly because that's what's important to our lives. Um, a reminder as well, if we should, hey, Dangerous Poison, how you doing? We have uh, Dangerous Poison on Twitch with us. And then we have two people, it looks like on YouTube that are still just being quiet in the background, which is fine. Love to hear from you. Jump in the chat just to say hi, at least. You don't have to say, you don't have to ask any questions. That would be great to help the, you know, algorithm. No, no. I'm more, I'm, I'm doing, I haven't, I'm okay. I'm not doing the best. I got up kind of early to play another game, to play a game that I play online. And, um, I didn't sleep a lot. So when my, when I don't sleep a, enough, my body feels weird and it's cold. If you notice, I'm wearing my jacket and got my hoodie on a little cold. Um, it probably will heat up. It looks like the light. The sun will start hitting the side of the building right there and probably start heating up my room in a little while. But right now, I get when I get cold, I kind of stay cold. I'm like cold-blooded, I guess you could say, or something. It's like the way that I am. But we're going to work on this drawing today. Um, this will be interesting one because it's not the best. One of the hardest parts about this process when I'm picking, when I'm drawing people from like real people from like um, that are, you know, like, in this human rights conversation, it's like, you're not going to get great. Potentially you're not going to get great photo references to, to draw from. And this is kind of the same, uh, situation. This reference photo is not the best because it's so washed out. There's not a lot of contrast. It's like all the same level. So I'll have to, I'll have to like apply the contrast on my own, but I mean, we'll do fine. Her eyes, the eyebrows and mouth and nose, like those features, will be easy to place <clears throat> and then I'll just kind of just experiment with the the rest of it and see how it goes <clears throat> all right cool all right let's pour some tea I got my my husband how's it sound today so yesterday I don't know if you noticed dangerous poison but I I clipped out a lot of what we talked about yesterday and put it made it a a short video on YouTube um, from your questions that you asked, I thought it was good. I, I, I titled it advice for a young artist. So I, I pulled out all the sections where I gave advice to you and made a short, it's only gotten 15 views so far, but I think, you know, it should get, a, it should get, it should go viral because it's such a, like a profound, you know, thing, right? <laughs> Anyways, I, I made some tea earlier. And I, I used like half of it and then I just filled it up with hot water again. So this, this tea might be pretty diluted, but it'll be, it should be fine. Hopefully it tastes good still. Um, yeah. And I saw your, uh, post on Instagram. I just haven't had a chance to respond yet. I respond to everything. So. I have a bunch of, of comments on Instagram I have to respond to. Oops, that's all I want to do. I have, um, right now... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's like 20 comments on Instagram that I have to respond to. Like ten of them for one person though, so whatever. So I'll get I'll get to that after the stream today. Oh, I should share this. Maybe let's just share it with my Facebook. Uh, nobody. Oops, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Nobody on Facebook comes and supports the stream. It's like these are people I've actually talked to in real life, and they don't they don't care. I don't know. I don't. Whatever. Maybe they don't see it, but whatever.
I said, I'm I'm on stream making art, trying to make a difference. Your support would be very much appreciated. Please click the link, comment in the live chat. Thanks. Please click the link and post to Facebook. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I'm feeling a little, God. I shouldn't say this, but I'm gonna say it anyways. I'm just ready for some magic. I need a little magic. I need a little good news, like significant good news. Like somebody buys one of my pieces of artwork so I can pay, catch up on bills, something, you know, money. I need some money to come into my life somehow. <clears throat> Re, um, maybe you can talk about your art journey. Okay. I feel like that's what I do all the time, though. <laughs> I feel like that's just my entire channel when it comes to art. No, I love it. Longer the... Yeah, whatever. No worries. No. Dude, type all you want. You're the only one here talking to me, so... You got the... The floor is yours. I'll have to look up um, some art journey videos. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Looks like we have one person or two people on YouTube now. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know how accurate my uh, counter is, but it says I have two people watching. So thanks, thanks YouTube. I like my new mic setup. It's right here. My mic is up here now. I, uh, I used to have it down below. Oops. That's okay. I can leave it like that. Um, let's get our ink. We got our black ink tray here. Those who know you but don't watch your live videos are honestly missing out. I know. That's what I said. Yesterday, after yesterday's stream, yesterday was the best stream. That was so far out of all 20, 20 drawings. Out of all 20 drawings, yesterday was the best of my Portraits by Jim show. So, and you made that you made that possible by asking questions and being a part of that. But yeah, the art, I think the, I really like the last one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, about nine. The last nine drawings have all been pretty darn good. Like, like the within, so the nine drawings, the best, the top half of the, and then there's been some other ones, nine, 10. Yeah, they've been really good. So the, my drawing process has gotten better and it's just going to keep getting better. And then the conversation was really good yesterday. So that's what I want um, to keep happening. So I want to keep growing this. I'd love to just, I just, it would be awesome. This is what I'm, I was thinking about it, you know, I don't need like hundreds of people to be here or anything. Let's say there were 20 people. 20 is kind of my magic number these days for everything I'm doing on stream. If I had 20 people that were always like, there was always an average of 20 people here talking, asking questions, that would be enough. That would be perfect. That would be so perfect if there was like 20 people every time I went live. And wanted to talk about art. I can, there's got to be 20 people like you, Dangerous Poison, that, and others that I've I have friend that have told me they don't mind the slower pace of my content. There's got to be 20 people in the eight. How many? 800. How many? How many people on? Didn't we just have like? Didn't we just cross a uh, population total? Earth population. Seven point eight, seven point eight seventy five billion people are on the planet. I guess I thought it, it passed eight billion. <clears throat> yeah, it passed has reached eight billion on November. Out of eight billion people, twenty of them have to be down with hanging out. 
There's got to be 20 people out there that we'd be down to hang out. <laughs> I always say if there's one, then there's more than one, right? If there's one person that likes something, there's more than one person. Anyways, cool beans. So we just got to find them. We just got to find them. Where are the 20 people that have 20 minutes to spare every once in a while to come hang out and talk? And chill and watch art making all right so I like to I just like to describe my process these days so I draw with ink I draw with ink even though I use a brush but I use a rag too. Let's see uh, so I'm famous yeah let's go I'm ready I'm just ready to start making some money I don't know I'm not doing it right I guess to make money I don't know what I need to do to make money off of art. I have no idea. My life would be pretty perfect if I could. Uh, so I, I um, I sell commission. You know, I I solicit. I guess you could say, this style of drawing, the style of portrait. I'm like hundred dollars. I'll draw you one of anybody you want. I'll draw you a portrait of anybody you want, with exception. I'm not gonna draw somebody that's like an evil person but um, I'll draw pretty much anybody you want yourself your family a, a celebrity somebody that inspires you for a hundred dollars plus shipping you just got it. and if I could do that ten times ten times a month my life would be perfect if I could sell ten portraits a month for a hundred dollars plus shipping wherever you know it varies depending where you live I would be set I would be set, but I haven't figured out how to get the message. Out. I don't know how to get the message out there. I just keep making stuff, keep posting. I'm on Instagram and TikTok and YouTube every week. I post multiple things over and over and over, and I can't seem to get people to send money my way in in, in this in the enough in enough to make a difference. I need about four hundred dollars like today so I can go to the dentist. The way my dentist works is he, I have to pay up front, and I could go find another dentist, but I really like this dentist, and I'm I get really anxious about medical stuff, and I'm just like, man, it's like what the hell? I can't go to the dentist that I want to go to because I can't afford it. Because I mean, then I'll get I'll get some of it back because I have insurance, so I pay up front. They build the insurance and I get a little bit, little bit of it back. But anyways, life is tough. All right, let's look at this crazy, look at that ink build up. Thanks everybody for watching. Are you in America? I heard healthcare is very expensive. Yeah, I'm in America. Yeah, healthcare is expensive. I do have insurance through my school, which is nice, but it's still like, you know, it doesn't cover everything. Like right now I have, I went to the ER about a year ago, a little more than a year ago, um, that I don't even know what's up. I didn't never paid the bill for it. It was like, a, like $1,500 and I don't even know where it is. I don't even know there. It might be in collections. I have no idea because I couldn't have, I can't, I don't have that money. I just didn't even call them. I just was like, I just ignored the bill. So right now, as far as my bills are concerned, like there's that that's in collection that could be in collections. I don't even know what it is. I do have one credit card that's in collections, about ten thousand dollars in collections, and that's you know messing up my credit and everything. I get a call from the collection agency every once in a while that I ignore. But yeah, and then I'm just trying to make you know survive off what I do make, and then I get spammed on my tick on my YouTube account by something that I don't care about go away please don't do that nobody's gonna click on your nobody's gonna go to your website nobody cares about your your spammy website I just got spammed all right so describing my process again I have um, I use a rag to start this is what I've been doing for a while. And I, I kind of like finger paint, I guess you could say, finger draw. But I, I wrap 
I wrap a rag around my finger like this. This is, I don't think anybody has this. I think I am the only person on the planet that has this technique for drawing. I'm a one of a kind. So I use a rag like so, something kind of thin, not too thick, something a little thin. This is just a old napkin that we didn't need anymore. So we have a bunch of old rags, old things that we've used. And then I wrap it and make it kind of tight around my finger. There's my, my hot photos. I don't want to see your hot photos. You see my hot drawings. <laughs> Go away. It, I already blocked it from, I already blocked it from uh, YouTube, but they, it got through on the old, uh, right there. Where are you looking? Right, right, right there. Anyways. Um, and then I, and then I, Go like this. And to start off, it's, you know, there's nothing like, oh, there's a little bit left from yesterday. I have a little bit yellow from yesterday, but I'll dip it in the ink. But sometimes like the, so this is, so this, this rag's been used a little bit. So I'll have like strong ink, like on the, um, on the tip of my finger. I just dipped it in there. So we'll show it here. So like the eye, I have my strong ink there. But then the the ball of rag just has old water ink, so it'll like it'll like you can kind of barely see it there. But I can do different tones with just like darkest tone on the tip, and then as you kind of work your way down, it gets lighter. And I don't know if you saw me yesterday, but I'll unwrap it, and so where that dark spot is, like right in the middle there. I'll move my finger over just a hair and it'll, it should be a little bit lighter than, yeah, it's a little bit lighter than the, where it was. So that's my technique. I use a rag dark spot and then I kind of work it around what I need. And then that's just get, the, that's the like combination of, I use it to start off to block out the, the coat, the, the sections. Like I'll, I'll kind of block out the darkest areas, but then then I go to the paintbrush to get more details, but then I go back to this even to get details in a way because I like, I actually like it that it makes, it's like, uh, it's hard to control completely. It's like, it's like hard to control. So, so it kind of forces mistake. It kind of makes mistakes. And I, I kind of like that. That's well, that's, I like it. There's no, no denying that I like to make mistakes with my art. Um, so, uh, now, you know, I like to make mistakes and have to deal with, and this, like the chaos of it. And it's kind of like, let, let the, the art kind of just happen. I guess you could say. Thing that I've learned about this process is uh <laughs> my heart's made of gold. Thanks. Oh appreciate that, my friend. We saw our YouTube friends are being shy this morning. Maybe they're watching on the TV so they can't chat. It's okay. I'll try not to bug you. I just with so few people here, I really like the chat. That's, that's what like, honestly, that's like why I do this is for the chat. The chat is like everything. The conversation, the chat is like, it's everything.
Your vibes, the vibes of just jawing and chatting are gorgeous. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. The other thing too, so I can go, the point is dark and then the, the, the top side is lighter. So I'll do a demonstration. So the point is, um, kind of dark, right? Ish. And then if I use my knuckle, it'll be like lighter. So that's another trick with this technique that I like. Definitely getting better at um, knowing where to line up things. And oh, what I was about to say is one of the things I know. So I have a grid on this. I don't know if you could see it. You could kind of maybe see it. There's like a couple lines here and there to help me place things. But even with the grid, since I don't do, it's still kind of a wide grid. It's three inches by three inches. This is the grid size, three inches. So like on my paper, I don't know, this is about an inch, I guess, or so. So it's 11, one, two, three, it's eight tall. One, two, three, four, six wide. So if this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, it's just, each block is just bigger than an inch. I don't know exact the exact measurements. What I do is I blow it up I, I make a document that's the size of the final paper in Photoshop. I drop the image in Photoshop and on the final document size, I make the grid lines and then just shrink it. Then I just print it out on this. So it, it prints, I don't even have to think about the math. That's the way I do it. So then, um, so that's a tip. That's a practical tip for any artist. If you want to set up your grid, find out what your final paper size is, put that in Photoshop, make your grid on that, and then throw your image, throw your reference image on that, and then print it out on eight and a half by 11. You don't have to think about the math. It's automatically going to be accurate. So there you go. So my grid is not super detailed. Like I don't have another grid, so it's pretty wide. So I still have to like think about what I'm doing. And one of the things I've learned is that <clears throat> everything's a bit bigger than you think. Just make it like a little bit bigger than you think. Like expand it. That's what I've kind of noticed with, with my process.
It already looks cool, doesn't it? I think it looks cool like this at this spot. I'm gonna take a picture of it. I like this minimalist kind of look. <sighs> like it a lot. Let's take a picture of this a whip. We'll call it the whip. We'll do the whip. Let's take one just for the camera roll first. Camera roll. Whip, whip, whip it, whip it, flip it. WIP live right now on YouTube and Twitch. Come. Port. Hashtag. Hashtags. Let's see if we can get 20 of the 8 billion people to come hang out. <clears throat> Our. There we go. <coughs> yeah, should I take a selfie with the chat? Let's do it. That's a good idea. It's a story. Let's go flip it. Let's go flip it. There's the chat. I'll point at the chat right there. Up, up. Come join. Come join the chat. Let's draw an arrow. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Pose in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. All right. Done. So we got somebody that mentioned uh, on my just now on uh, Instagram says, this is amazing. Thank you so much for being our voice. I hope you know, mu hope you know much this means to us. Today is Tumaj 32nd birthday. His life is in danger. He is in prison under the Islamic regime torture. He is facing charges, war against God. He's facing the death penalty. I know, it's crazy. Pray for him, pray for everybody. I don't know, I wish I could do more. I don't know what else I would do though, but you're making a difference. Maybe I don't know. I'm just trying to be a good human being and do what I enjoy and live myself, you know? I'm just trying to survive. I'm just trying to make it every day. I'm just trying to make it.
I got it. Thanks. I appreciate it. Doesn't it kind of look like charcoal? The way it, even though it's ink, the way I draw with it, it kind of looks like charcoal. I think it does. I think it kind of, the way that I do it. Yeah, that's true. If you use like con the compressed charcoal though, it, it kind of feels this way. Because sometimes when you make your first mark, it's hard to blend it out because it's so dense. There's like, you know, soft charcoal and there's different types of charcoal. I like this song. What song is this? I got songs on my ears. I get to listen to music. What made you come up with the ink on rag idea? Oh, I was, um, so there's a, if you look back on this channel, I did a 24 hour live, my first, tw uh, second 24 hour live stream. And I did, I did 24 portraits in 24 hours and they were really big. They were like, um, 42 inches wide so that's almost 3 feet that's about 3 feet 42 divided by what is that almost 4 feet 42 divided by 12 3.5 feet 3.5 feet wide so they're about 5 feet tall 5 feet by you know they're about that big they're big and they were on that back wall back there. Um, in the first three, I was drawing my normal technique of starting with the brush, like I was using the brush first. And then I would go in at sections and rub part of the rag. And during that process, I started to recognize that the rag was just working so much faster. So I evolved during that live stream. I started the last, so like I did the first three different and pretty much from the the fourth one through the 24th one, the last 20 of them, I started with the rag and was able to go a lot faster. And so that's where that came from. That's where that came from. Cause I would use paper towels a lot in this process. I would use paper towels to do different things. And then I just switched over to using just like a regular rag. Yeah. So that's that. Thanks for asking. That's awesome. Awesome question. You're, you're good at asking good questions. I love it. You're good at asking good questions. We still haven't got anybody on YouTube to say hi. I think there's one person watching on YouTube, but they, um, they're being very shy. Maybe it's the same person. Maybe it's a different person.
little trick, little tips. So you like to draw. So I saw your um, anime little characters that you like to draw. You probably know this. You kind of, with the anime, you kind of know this already, but it sometimes, well, the anime does this to an extreme in a way, but I found when you draw portraits, you can get away with making the the eyes a little bit bigger. Hey, Lo Visa, what's up? Thanks for hanging. Thanks for saying hi. Appreciate that. That's all I need. You know, now you can go back and just lurk if you want. Um, when you draw with when you draw eyes, you can get away with drawing them a little bit bigger than than they actually are. I've noticed. That's what I've noticed. This um, so this is the halfway point about right there. This eyebrow is like really. I think I need to cut it down a little bit. Okay, I see what's going on. These Sumi brushes are so freaking rad. I love these things. It, it seems like it takes a little bit for them to break in. This one I just bought a couple weeks ago and the first couple times I used it, it wasn't as good as it is now. I don't know if that's true for Sumi brushes, but it seems like they need to be broken in a little bit. Or maybe you just gotta get used to the, the new, the new, um, point maybe i was just not used to the new point it's like slightly different from my old one Done. Just kidding. Looks pretty awesome though. That's all right. Sort that closet. I'm gonna do another um, whip working. I haven't. I don't do these work in progress shots as much as I probably should. Mm -mm. I like the way it looks. It looks pretty awesome though. I love that. I think that looks so cool. I could just leave it like that and be, but I don't know. No, I need to fix it. I need to mess with it more. That, that definitely looks cool though. I love that. I personally love that. I love that. <laughs> God damn, I love that.
All right, let's keep it going. All right, maybe you should make a video explaining how to draw a portrait. Yeah, yeah, that's over over my winter break. I'm making a bunch of, a handful of videos like that. One of my students wanted to know how to draw portraits better. So I'm gonna make two videos drawing portraits. One on drawing them kind of like I do here with the grid. And then one drawing it completely freehand. So they're kind of a different philosophy between the two. So, and then I'll, I suppose I'll show my technique with the rag and that kind of process. And then, But I'm also going to make a video series of my drawing class, like how to draw from the way that I teach it in my class, talking about we do like drawing from life, drawing with still life, setting up a still life, doing the drawing, drawing with expressive mark making as a priority versus, because there's a lot of approaches. It's like you can draw... I try to, I want people to break away from this kind of constricted, tight perfectness. I want them to draw loose. So I'm gonna teach my method of drawing. Um, starting with still lifes, then going, and then I do a section on um, perspective and do a section on drawing nature versus a still life, a static in room still life, draw from nature. And then draw, um, then draw a portrait, and then yeah, drawing textures is a big part. I do this whole section on textures. Yeah, so it's more about how to think about drawing versus tutorials of like drawing itself. We'll have these little mini tutorials, but it's really like the practice. It's like I'll set up the the video to be like, okay, this isn't a video step by step video. This is a Think about this, pause the video, draw for a while, start the video again, or you know, watch it all the way through, but draw like I'll bet essentially like make the video like I'm teaching the class. So it's like in the class we'll like I'll have them do like these speed drawings where they draw the same object for thirty seconds, then a minute, then two minutes, then five minutes, then ten minutes, then twelve minutes, and see the difference. So it'll be, that'll be part of the, the video. So it won't be a watch it all the way through video. It'll be a pause or it could be a watch it all the way through video. If I do it right if, with the, some of those time things, I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> Maybe I will make it like an hour long class and we'll, I'll, I'll have like sections where it's timed. All right, let's get some white in here. This crappy white that I have. Oh well, it's what I got. It's what I got. Someday I'll be. I'll have enough money to use all the kind of stuff I want. I have to fill it up a little bit. Ugh, smells so bad. Yuck. This white sucks. If anybody wants to uh, support the the art, I have a wish list in the YouTube video. And one of the things on that wish list is this ink. This is the ink I like to use. And I'm out and I'm broke. So if you want to buy it for me, that would be great.
Did I use too much water? Maybe, maybe I did. We'll see. See this stuff, this stuff is like ready to go out of the bottle. The stuff I have that I'm using today, trashy liquid tex is like thicker than, it's like too thick. So I have to figure out how to water it down correctly. Anyways. Drippy drips. See, now it's too drippy. God darn it. Oh well. What are you going to do? Oh well. What are you going to do, right? kind of cool though with all those drips on it I think it looks cool <laughs> yeah this is really difficult with the fact that this reference drawing is so washed out it's like hard to know <clears throat> what to do but whatever whatever Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. 
kind of like it. I mean, I do like it. I like that it's kind of light. What's your opinion about people who think art is talent, like you're just born with it? Uh, I don't agree with it. I think um, everybody, it kind of goes back to what we were saying last time. Everybody's gotta be, everybody's just has to find their authentic mark. Anybody can be an artist. You just gotta, the problem is most people compare themselves to something else and that kind of you know yeah you may not understand certain aspects of art where like some instructor might notice like if you're not quite understanding proportions right or if you're not you never quite get it or if you don't get shading very well and you don't quite understand the concepts of it doesn't mean you're not a good artist it means you're not good at that and so you just gotta find your authentic mark and if you stick with it and keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it eventually the art informs you and things start to click and you start to understand things if you just keep doing it so if anybody ever tells somebody they can't do something because they didn't succeed at it the first few times they try it that's that's not a good thing so you want to just recognize like, hey, you might take longer to understand certain concepts, but doesn't mean you're a bad artist. It just means you're not good at that. But finding the thing that you are good at is that's your journey. That's your mission. The thing that resonates with you, the way that you want to express, the way you want to talk about art and be an artist. That's what, um, that's what should be encouraged and valued, not to... Not to be like, you need to draw something that looks like that. I mean, it, within the practice, within when you go to art school and things, one of the ways that people, um, one of the projects in a sense, one of the techniques is to copy the masters. So you copy the people that have made great art in the past. And so, you know, if you're not able to do that very well, then you're like, oh, I can't do that. But even though that's what I'm required to be doing right now while I'm in school. Can people learn anything, but 80% of people give up when... Yeah. I might leave this one a bit more open like this. I don't want to mess with it too much more than this. I kind of like this. I'm going to I'm going to throw some ink on it here. Okay. 
I'm gonna try my my uh let's go with a smaller let's go with a, a big smaller brush let's try this one I haven't used this brush very much <laughs> you don't give up on your dreams and that says a lot about you I don't know yeah that's the that's that's the bummer part about as you've got as I've gotten older, it feels to me like you people get to a certain age and they give up because people it's a bummer to me that dreams are not encouraged when you're older. And I don't like that. You know, we encourage youthful we, we encourage everybody that's you know, twenty years or younger to follow their dreams. But then when you get to be 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100 years old, we're, this, our society stops encouraging people to go after their dreams. And I think that's, I don't, I don't think that's a, I hate that because I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop trying to, my dream is to be a successful creative in general, really. But right now it's art, whatever it is. I just want to like, be able to make a living and survive and you know I want people I want to be recognized I want to be appreciated recognized and I want to feel appreciate I want yeah I want to feel appreciated and recognized for what I do and what I contribute that's what I want I don't just to be straight I, I, I want to call it fame if you will but I don't need to be like famous famous I just want people to recognize what I do and it to be appreciated and I want to be able to survive off of it that's my hope. That's my goal. I want to do this. I don't know if this is a smart idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. I always like my, like, I like doing this. I noticed that if you notice the thumbnail of my videos, I do this white stroke around them. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny that I like to do that on my drawings as well. Oh, it's too dark. I'll leave it. I kind of like it. I'll probably go back in with a little white here. I like it. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot.
kind of like it. Like this is a different. This has a different vibe to it. I'm digging it. It's a signature stroke. Yeah. Okay, we're not gonna do too much more to this one. Turn on. This is be my thing from now on. My um, TikTok will go on when I start writing on it, because I always forget. <laughs> anyway, so when I start writing on it, I'll I'll throw TikTok on. Let's see if I can leave. I want to listen to my music, but oh, I turn off. Oh, this is what I'll do. I gotta go settings, settings. Where's my, okay, settings, Bluetooth, off. Okay, yes. Bluetooth is off. So then I can leave my music on in my ears, turn on TikTok, it won't try to connect to my ear. Go live. Armida Abasi, Abasi. All right, TikTok. What's up, TikTok? Don't stop. My TikTok um, camera's a little uh, whatever. I'm gonna put. I need to for my live stream when I do um, my uh, when I do my other live stream. I'm gonna put the TikTok video up here. I don't know if there's no, I need a better spot to, to put it, but whatever. Hey, TikTok, we got a couple of people joining in. We are Zim. We draw live stream drawings every Monday, Friday, and Saturday. We just, we're working toward the end of this drawing here. And when we get toward the end, I throw it on t TikTok to join you guys to share with you what's going on. Um, so... If you have any questions, this is Armida Abasi. Abasi. I'm not sure if I pronounced the last name right. But we've been drawing a lot of the people that are struggling for human rights in Iran. And she's a uh, protester that was arrested by her government um, for speaking out against her government, <laughs> essentially. So as far as we know at this point, we don't know where she is. So if you know on TikTok, if you're familiar with what's going on in Iran and you know where um, Armida, the updates on Ar Ar Armida are, then please let us know in the chat. That would be amazing. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining. And um, if you have any questions, let us know. Again, my name is Zim. I do a portrait drawing. I do drawing live stream portraits every Monday, Friday, and Saturday on my YouTube and Twitch channels. We've been live for an hour and a half about. And um, we, at, toward the end of the drawing, I throw it on the TikTok for you guys to join us so you can see it. Because TikTok doesn't like it when it's a blank sheet of paper. You, you guys all just leave the moment you see it. You're like, this guy's dumb. But when you see some artwork, you might stick around a little bit. Usually we get a couple likes. We'll see what happens. Today wasn't very good. We only got about 60 people to join the stream. And now it's gone down to 18. Sometimes it goes all the way up to like 500 before people start leaving but today we didn't didn't seem to TikTok didn't really want to share it out with many people today so i appreciate those of you that are here um willing to check it out for a second um you know i'm an independent creator just trying to make it good trying to you know do the thing as you see i do lots of portraits lots of drawings so if you dig my style then feel free to follow me and um yeah jump in the chat and let me know what's going on all right, cool. There, I did my thing for TikTok. Back back to the normal, everybody. So we got YouTube and Twitch going on and TikTok all at the same time. 
let's go right so right now the process that i'm doing right now is i always write so as you see in the background i started writing again on my drawings so i'm gonna write her name on it i think i'm gonna put it down here so let's do that let's do that let's do that <clears throat> Nobody on TikTok wants to talk to me today. Oh well. Oh wellzers. Um Armita Abasi. Armita Abasi. Let's go. Amita Abasi. I like to put this. You won't be able to see it on TikTok, but we like to write woman life freedom on this as well. Woman life freedom. I gotta sign it as well. I gotta sign the action. I'll just sign it down here. Today's the third um, of December. Can you believe it? It's almost over. And then I've been writing the Farsi as well of woman life freedom, and I'm gonna throw that up on the top here. And I think they they write kind of backward or they not backwards they write from right to left so i gotta do from right to left here i have to talk to my friend who's from this area to give me a little tutorial on writing this um farsi a little bit better so i'm not um making it look bad I wonder what it looks like to anybody that can actually read it. Somebody said the one I did yesterday looked good. So, there you go. Let's throw, I just wanna like, get this white a little bit whiter here. Touch that side of it. I like it. I like it. Hey, Chris Morrison, what's up? Thanks for joining. Amazing. Thanks. Okay, so we got to pull the tape now. Let's throw a. Let's do a. Let's take a picture before we throw the pull the tape off. Hey, Kari, what's up? Thanks for joining. Twenty one, twenty twenty. Let's go. Oh, I'm warming up. Okay, cool. Let's take a photo of it. Dude, I like it a lot. I think it, God, this, I don't know. This idea that I'm, this idea that I'm drawing really fits my style of drawing, I think, as well. Like, talking about human rights and, like, 
it's not a happy my my style of drawing is not overly happy and i think that works well it's like it's in, it's kind of has a passion to it that i think is working out pretty well this is one of my favorites so far every one i think i i like better than the last one so let's show tiktok tiktok this is where we're at right now I'm about to pull the tape off this is um Armida Abasi, Abasi, Abasi. Hope I said that right. We just drew Armida. We're about to pull this tape off, so let's pull the tape off. Let's do the outer tape first. I think I'm gonna go for a walk after I turn the live stream off and then take a nap. Got up kind of early today. And then we'll do all our time lapses and stuff that we do. No likes yet on um on TikTok. Nobody's like not even one person's like, hey this guy's cool. They don't get it, I guess. TikTok doesn't it's not willing. There's no patience on TikTok. They're not willing to sit with it and go like, what is this guy all about? What's he doing? We're trying to change the world. We're trying to make the world a better place. So this is um, Armida Abbasi from Iran that's been arrested by her government for protesting the human rights struggle. And we've done a lot of these human rights drawings of people from Iran. And if any of them should sell, like this one, or a lot of these, 100% of them will be donated to Amnesty International. If, you know, like Taylor Swift or Herbie Hancock sells, we will donate half of that to Amnesty International. I need to update. I don't have all these listed on my Etsy store at the moment. But I guess I'm the same way. You know, what? what is it about... What what entices me to actually sit with something on Insta on TikTok? Not a lot. So whatever. All right, let's flip it. Oh wait, we got one more. Oh, I'll flip it first. Ugh. Like, why did you flip it? Cause the clips are on this side. We got one more. Where's my? Oh, we got two likes finally. Yeah. Thanks for the likes on the TikTok. Appreciate it. We got two likes on TikTok. Oh, we got some Rage Against the Machine in the ears. Nice. All right. Check it out, yo. Here it is. Here, TikTok. This is the final drawing. I think it turned out pretty awesome. It's backwards for you guys, so you can't see it the right way. But if you jump over to YouTube, you can see it the right way. Let's talk for a little bit. So after we finish the drawing, we just sit, chill, and talk. Actually, I want to do... I know I should have done this before I pulled the tape, but it's all right. I'm going to do it here. Let's get some white splatters. There. I like it. Sometimes I still mess with it after I think I'm done. Gotta be careful though. Like that right there. I didn't want to do that. Why did I do that? So now I go like this.
Happy accidents, yeah, I know. Hey, lol, it's not Eric. What's up? How's it going? Lol. LOL. On, on YouTube, the glare sometimes hits, the light glare hits it weird. So if I tilt it, you can see it a little better. This whole sec, this needs, actually does need this. There we go. All right, we'll just deal with that. I feel like this, I feel like we need to do some of this action on it. Gotta be careful here. Be careful, Zim. Don't get too crazy. Don't get too crazy. It's okay. There, done. Don't touch it, don't touch it. Don't touch it anymore. Crater Digger, what's up, Crater Digger? We just finished a drawing, live stream drawing. We do every Friday, Saturday, and Monday. He's been feeling weird lately. I don't know. Looks good. What is it? I want to do something. I don't know if I should do this, but I'm going to try it. Looks pretty good. Nice. There we go. That looks good. Well, TikTok is a bust today. Nobody cares over on TikTok. That's all right, though. It's nice to just hang out and chat. Feels like actually with you watching you draw. Cool. Yeah, that's the hope. We got to get... I would like more people to feel that way. Just want to hang out and chat. Anyways. I think I'm going to call it, though, because I'm pretty... I'm, like, kind of out of it. My body feels weird. I need to take a shower, go for a walk, maybe eat some more food. Get some more rest, take another take another nap here or take a nap. But we did it. Catch me on um TikTok and other places. I'm going to turn off the TikTok. All right, TikTok. You weren't happening today. Maybe next time. I'll be back on Monday. Peace. Peace out. TikTok was not happening. It was not the jam today. All right, my friend, dangerous poison. Um, thanks for hanging out. We're gonna we're gonna call it a day. Thanks. Um, 
catch up with you again soon. As always, be loving, kind, and patient. Peace out. You too. Have a great day. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.